What is up, Libra? This is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Okay, you guys, let's jump in. If it doesn't resonate, you know what to do, okay? And stick around. I got some free personal readings, okay? For those of you who are watching on YouTube at Leo Sun Pisces Moon, Ken Weaving Cards, or Tarot Karma, stick around, okay? I got some free personal readings over there. And yeah, I'll tell you how to do that in a moment. <clears throat> okay, we're going to take it. We're going to stop right here. Whoa, whoa, chill out. <laughs> okay, so we have a death card. Oh, shit. And then we have the Ace of Cups. All right. So, ooh, I like this energy. I like it. I do. I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I try so hard and I can't buy the bullet. I don't know where that shit came from. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Oh, honey. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. First of all, you got a manipulator around you with the magician and the obstacle position. You know, this is so weird. Okay. So we have Aries, full card. Someone is trying to scare you out of your purpose, like scare you off your path. Oh, baby. They're scared. They're trying to use like um, scare tactics. Yeah. Someone's trying to use scare tactics. Um, because they can't betray you because you don't fall for it. Okay. You're not falling for it. Oh, I had a dream about this person. Oh my God. It's a Libra or Virgo. We have Gemini, Aries, Virgo, double Aries. Okay. Taurus is here. Pisces is here and Scorpio. But I had a dream. Oh shit. This person's trying to scare you off your path because they know what's what's in store for you. They know what you're they know you're going from rags to riches. They know. Okay. How they feel about you is the king of pentacles in reverse with the two of wands. This person is a is greedy. Whoever this is, they're very greedy. I feel like this is a friend. Okay. This this ain't no friend. This is a foe. Okay. Yeah, this is a this is someone. Okay, you know how like you get excited about something, you get really really excited about something, you're really passionate about it, and then you get you know you're you got a friend who's like, oh that's oh you sure about that? Oh that's not gonna work out. You should probably do something else. Like this person has like received some sort of download or premonition about your your um success, and it's kind of like I don't know. I don't even think they know this, but like on a soul level, their soul is trying. Their soul is on a mission just like yours, okay? I feel like their mission is to stop you. Your mission is to help raise the vibration of the collective. And it's not an easy mission, okay? That's, that's, that's not easy. It's not easy to be a leader. It's not easy to be the first, okay? And like, you know, like a haunted house, you know, like how everybody stands outside the haunted house and everyone's like, no, you go in. No, you go in. They're like, no, you go in. No, I'm not going in there. You go in there first. And then that one person's like, you know what? I'm gonna go in there. That, I, that's you. You're the person that's going inside the haunted house. You could have Aries North Node. Or you have Aries Jupiter, Aries rising. You have Aryan aspect. Or you have like, I'm hearing um Aquarius. Okay, so Aquarius North Node. I heard Midhaven too. So you could have Aries, Aries Midhaven, which is the workplace. Wait, I can't talk. Aries is the, um, the 10th house is the workplace. Okay, well, we have the Midhaven. Mid, uh, the Midhaven. Okay, you got <laughs> Capricorn, Aquarius, or um, Aries. Specific, specifically Capricorn. Because, you know, Capricorn is the 10th house. Capricorn's also a cardinal. Aries is a cardinal. Aries is a pioneer. Okay. Yeah. So you have Aries like dominant throughout your chart, or you have Capricorn energy throughout your chart. Also, I'm hearing um Scorpio. So because Scorpio is other people's money. So I'm seeing like investors, people wanting to invest in you. And I feel like this person knows that and they know that, that these that you have something that they want. You could be an inventor. Libra, are you an inventor? I feel like, too, if you are an inventor, you're doing something surrounding beauty. So you could be a Libra Pluto generation. Shit. So you're innovative. You're innovative when it comes to, like, beauty, um, esthet maybe aesthetics, something, something aesthetically. Um, I'm hearing, yeah, you could be a cosmetologist. You could be an esthetician. You could be um, a makeup artist, okay? I'm hearing you are a high... Um, a-list. I heard A-list. So you work with A-list celebrities? You know, Libra is the house of partnerships. So 
you have like you have a real you have a lot of connections okay um you could even have libra exalted you could have libra several times in your chart or you could be a libra stellium all right but i feel like this person knows that this could be your competition with the three of pentacles you know the three of pentacles is it talks about workplace it talks about people collaborating it's in the reverse okay and it's mirroring the magician in reverse, okay? The magician in reverse is very manipulative, and the magician in the reverse is in an obstacle position, okay? Three of Pentacles is an external environment. So, like, Three of Pentacles is, like, people who wanted to work with you, but you chose to work alone. So, you could have, like, a lot of cardinal energy in your chart. So, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer, um, you know, Aries is the first, right? So, yeah, Aries is the first, and they're the cardinals. Um, they're the first cardinal, and they're, they are the cardinals are initiators, um, you could have a lot of these places in your chart, or you just have a lot of Libra. But I'm seeing like somebody here wanted to collaborate with you and you wanted to work alone. And they got really offended by that. Okay. They got really offended by that. And that's when they started telling you, hey, you know, I don't think that's going to work out. It's like, excuse me? Like, how are you going to tell me what I know about me? Like, how are you going to tell me what's inside of me or what I'm capable of? Because I feel like them doing that, them saying that it's not going to work out for you, it's just a projection. It's more about them that they don't believe in themselves. Yeah, they don't believe in themselves, you guys, with the high priestess in reverse. This person doesn't believe in themselves. They don't believe that they can do what you're doing. I feel like, too, you're challenging the status quo. So you can have high, um, you could be surrounded by high-level magicians, or you could be connected to elites, or you could be connected to, like, I'm hearing um, masonry, okay? I'm hearing something about Freemasons. All right? You're a high-level magician, Libra, okay? Because the death card coming out first is the energy you're embodying. It's like you, everything you touch turns to gold. You literally transmute, okay? The death card is about alchemy, all right? It's about shape-shifting. This also, I wrote on here, you can't kill death. You can't kill death, okay? It talks about transformation. This is something that is unavoidable. Um, like, I feel like someone is, like, really in denial about your success. They're really in denial about your self-worth. They're really in denial about your gifts. They're really in denial about you. They don't want to believe that you're intuitive. If you have a spiritual business too, if you're in, if you're a psychic, somebody is like, oh, she's not a fucking psychic. She's not a fucking psychic. She's just playing. <laughs> shit, that girl, she don't know shit. She's not intuitive. Like somebody is like literally telling like people around you that you're a joke and you're not. I feel like too, you read this person to filth <laughs> and they felt like it was a portrayal because you told the truth. I heard too, your cards don't lie. Your cards don't fucking lie. Like when you're when you read your cards, like you, I know it's really hard, like for, for readers, like to know if it's them or the cards. It's both. It's your intuition and it's your interpretation of the cards and where they are, depending on how you read. Um, like every reader has their own, you know, methods. But yeah, like I feel like every time you get it, you come on stage or you get on your platform, people are like shook. Holy shit! Like damn, that's my life. Oh my god, they're booking readings left and right. I feel like you're gonna be booked and busy. Okay, get ready, Libra. Get ready, okay? Especially if, like, Aries and Pisces all up in your chart or if you have Leo in your chart, okay? Because um, those 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 two signs, Leo, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing Leo, Leo and Pisces this month. If you have those in your chart, if you have Leo, Jupiter, uh, Pisces, Jupiter, um, Leo rising, Pisces rising, Pisces north node, Leo, Leo north node, I feel like a lot, uh, I'm also hearing Aries, Jupiter. So Aries, Jupiter's in the 12th house? Oh, shit, yeah. Um, get ready because I feel like you're going to have a lot of clients this month. You're going to have a lot of uh, abundance coming in from all different areas of your life. It's not going to just be um, financial. It's going to be love. It's going to be all kinds of stuff, okay? And I feel like, um, oh, my God, this this person, whoever this is, because you didn't listen to them, and, you know, they were trying to get you to, like, they were trying to get you to, like, like go in a different direction, okay? For a reason. It's because they were afraid of your success. They were afraid of what you were going to do. They were afraid of what you were going to amount to, okay? This person is going to have to sit there and watch. Okay, because we have a two of wands, which is the rags to riches card. Um, you could even be biracial. This is like biracial for some of you. You could be mixed. Okay, I'm hearing you're mixed. Okay, you're between worlds. Um, I don't know. I just heard hybrid. You're a hybrid. Okay, so you're a psychic, and you have royalty in your bloodline. Okay, you're a psychic. You have um, you, you're a psychic and a witch. Someone has a lot of like gifts. Okay, I feel like these gifts are so hard to bear. Yeah, you have a lot of like, you have a lot of gifts dormant inside of you, Libra, and, and it kind of makes you sick. Sometimes it makes you sick. If you're not taking care of yourself, you're not eating healthy, if you're not eating right, your, your gifts are going to overwhelm you because you need to be nurturing your gifts. You need to be replenishing your, your spirit, your body, your aura, and your vessel, okay? You need to eat healthy, all right? You need to drink more water. Also, I'm hearing that. Okay, you need, yeah, because we are water. We are literally made up of water. You need to be drinking more water um, because I'm something about your intuition. Like, I feel like you're not drinking enough water. Your intuition is a little off right now. Um, don't, 
don't be afraid okay it's just this is just like just just encouragement it's not a warning or anything like your intuition isn't going to go anywhere it's not leaving i feel like it's going to be enhanced too the more you drink water okay the more i'm hearing to put electrolytes in there or something i'm seeing like vitamin d3 um you need to be drinking more of that okay so i'm gonna get an inspiration card or affirmation card from my star wars deck shout out to jenny miller okay you guys want to patronize the channel if you guys want to support the channel on leo at leo sun pisces moon on youtube um i have a wish list there in the description if you made it this far also if you made it this far okay check out your free personal readings down in the description that is leo sun pisces moon on youtube if you want to get those free personal readings there's three free personal readings everyone's going to get them for free and they are in the description box second third and fourth second third and fourth link okay the first link is the merchandise if you guys want to check it out and support okay anyways we have the star wars affirmation cards if you guys want to pick these up on amazon over there you can okay um, i think that's where she got it from and yeah this is so i like this deck it's really nice okay so i'm gonna get one affirmation card for you don't ever let anybody scare you out of your path don't ever let anybody scare you off your debt out of your destiny because you know these are like you have to understand that we are all ripples right we are all ripples and we all like, in a sense, we all are doing God's work, okay? Everyone is doing God's work, and there are really no wrong, like, paths. I mean, we're always going to learn our lessons. If we're on the wrong path, say we're on the wrong path, we're going to learn valuable lessons on that path regardless. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? I feel like they want to scare you because they themselves are lost, or they don't know where they're going, okay? They don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they have they don't know if they have gifts maybe they don't feel good enough you know a lot of it's just a projection you guys so don't just ignore people when they're toxic that's very very toxic like that's not gonna work out for you that's not gonna work i tried that already but what works for me that isn't always gonna work for other people you know what i mean so like if somebody like says that to you it's just because they're projecting they may feel like you know it's it's not a good idea you know I am brave. I take action to define my role in the story. I rebel. I rebel against expectations and forge my own path. Yeah, you're a leader. This is like cardinal energy. This is innovation, technology, medicine. You could, I'm getting to, if you are a Scorpio Pluto generation, because we do have the death card first. If you're a Scorpio Pluto ger generation, that is what you're here to do. You're here to heal humanity through, um, like through breakthroughs to, in technology, medicine, um, this could be anything holistic based also um, i'm hearing metaphysical so you could be a leader um you could just be a leader and you could just be a motivational speaker um especially like aries jupiter aries north node or you have gemini rising yeah like you have gemini mercury or um yeah you guys i feel like you, you know you know who you are you know who you are okay and you don't it doesn't you don't have to have those placements you guys look at your chart learn your chart learn about where you are it's like a fingerprint it's like a it's like a yeah, it's like a fingerprint. It's like a universal fingerprint. Um, you know, none of us have the same chart. None of us have the same fingerprint. So, like, learn your chart, okay? You're very special. You're very special, okay? I'll just leave it there. Um, I love you guys so much, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Give this video a like, you guys. Share the video if you know a Libra. If you know a Libra that can would uh, appreciate the video, share it with a Libra. Comment, you know, tag your, tag your Libras. Share the video, like the video, subscribe to YouTube on the um, slide, <laughs> subscribe on YouTube, okay? And yeah, you guys, I love you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.